Hello everyone and welcome to Event Zero. I am Exorf and uh, I've been pretty excited about this game ever since I first like saw the first footage of it uh, in trailers and such. Uh, but it took me this long to actually start playing it and I wanted to make sure to do it on the channel. Um, the, it's a game where you communicate with an AI using natural language, which sounds really cool. Uh, a stat, but it also seems like it's very pretty and does some some neat stuff. So let's jump right in. Now I don't know like anything about the story of the game or um, anything like that, except that you're communicating with an AI. That is, I don't know what actually happens to you, why you're here, uh, why any of this is happening. We're all obsessed by being someone, something, somewhere. Being in a particular state of consciousness, health, mind, being for and from, being with, being without, you were not an exception. Can I click this? For as long as you could remember, the pronoun that described you best has been... Oh, oh. he. You were very particular about it. <laughs> like everyone else, uh, you called planet Earth your home, but you weren't like most of your peers. You spent your childhood uh, in a hippie commune, in a war-torn country, or in a slum. Uh, hippie commune is probably the closest to, to reality, though it's not that close. <laughs> First California, then the United States ceased to exist. The world itself became a hypertrophied commune, both uh, disproving and confirming everything you stood for. You moved to San Francisco. These childhood memories, however painful, gave you some solace. They meant you were someone, and you intended to keep it that way. Armstrong made a step on the moon, and suddenly, everybody wanted to be a part of something. You witnessed nation states pop up, pop out of it. You witnessed nation states pop out of existence. Selenites became the privileged class of citizens. They were the minority who had traveled to space. It was hard to reconcile the modern world with your early days in the, in the commune. The United Earth government paid for your college. That's nice. You wanted to make a difference, give back to the society, see what the rest of the universe looked like. Well, we're going to space, so let's see what the rest of the universe looked like. Soon you joined International Transport Space Lines as a flight engineer assistant. You spent years in training before you finally before finally getting your shot. An old man, wearing a blue flight jacket, approached you after one of the mock launch exercises. He presented himself as Kurt Taylor, the president of ITS. Um, this is probably how I would uh, respond. I don't bite, he said, grinning. You mumbled something incoherent. Kurt invited you to his office and closed the door behind you. He didn't ask you to sit. Um, I probably wouldn't realize that I need to wait for someone to tell me to sit before I sit down. Or, yeah, I probably would. Because then I, if I don't, then maybe I sit down in the wrong chair and that would be embarrassing. He frowned and pointed at the chair forcefully. I asked you here because I wanted uh, someone with your uh, background to be a part of our next mission. The hippie commune background? I heard you grew up in a commune, and look at you now. You know what Nietzsche said. He who has a clear why can bear almost any how. He grinned, clearly satisfied with himself, and asked you to be a part of a mission to Europa. 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 Europa? Euro Europa. Europa, whatever. Uh, naturally, you said yes.
There have already been 10 Europa missions. The new one was to be called uh, Europa 11. This time they wanted to send a manned lander down to the surface. You just wanted to be one of the Selenites or be a part of something. So they were the upper class, right? So whatever. Let's be a part of something instead. The act of being in itself is not a problem. It's just that some ways of being are incompatible with the others. We get obsessed by them and miss out on everything else. You came a long way from the commune. Saving the launch countdown made you feel anxious. It wasn't a fear of going to space. You've been looking forward to that. It was something else. A thought kept bugging you. It was September 6, 2012, and humankind had never been more united. You, on the other hand, were utterly alone. As for building relationships, uh, 390 million miles away from Earth, well, hmm, it's interesting that it takes place in the past, yet it's describing events that never happened. Let's just say that it wasn't going to be straightforward. I'm getting closer to the thing. Slowly, slowly closer. You were on your way to the system bay when the ships uh, first entered Europa orbit. The central alarm went off and the red lights blinded you. The AI of Europa 11 had invoked the code red security protocol. All personnel had to go to the bridge. This meant you as well. But the system bay door was just a few feet away. No, I, I, I'm gonna head there. You reached the end of the hallway, but the door closed right in front of you. You asked the AI to let you go uh, to the bridge. The AI of the ship told you that the path to the bridge wasn't safe and that you had to ev ev evacuate immediately. Um, this is not a protocol. Please do not argue with me. My orders are to keep you alive. Your orders? What are you talking about? Um, I like being alive, I guess. <laughs> Everybody else turned out to be faster than you. Only one capsule uh, remained docked. You got sealed and detached as soon as you got in. You could see the other escape capsules getting away from Europa 11. You tried to hail them. But no one answered. The other capsules drifted idly, uncontrolled. They were all empty. Try to reach the com command center, or you attempted to communicate with Europa 11. Um, command center, I think. A signal had reached the Earth, and you even got a signal back. But it was white noise. Communications were jammed. Your pod, uh, pod was about to leave the orbit. In a code red scenario, the AI of Europa 11 was at the wheel of all escape pods. Uh, this was supposed to give the crew enough time to get in their EVA suits. The screen turned blue, which meant that the AI had let go. You felt a shock. The debris was hitting your capsule. The Europa 11 mission was over. The big dot on the radar, ha radar had split into hundreds of smaller dots before disappearing for good. You needed a moment to process that. You sent out a distress signal. You sat there not knowing what to do next. Well, let's be proactive. No one answered. He just kept it running despite the lack of sunlight. If no one found you, you wouldn't need a battery anyway. Cycles went by. You tried to establish communications with someone, whistling your favorite Beatles songs in the microphone. One day, you heard back. There was music coming out of the speakers. A sad female voice sang about the end of the world. You hurried to open the radar app. It's the end of the road. Was a hard There it was, a spaceship, 
One of those experimental tourist monstrosities from the 80s. What was it doing here? Uh, what, what was all the singing about? Most importantly, was docking it a good idea? I figured it did not have much of a choice. I sort of assumed that I would be on uh, Europa 11, getting back there somehow. Not that I would go to a spaceship instead, given that the Europa 11 had the AI on it. Okay, that was a very long intro, <laughs> like um, much more so than I expected, um, but it was cool. Uh, it reminded me of the Firewatch intro. And I really liked that one. It wasn't quite as emotional, um, but I, I liked writing in it. It, uh, it it was quite nice. All right, hold the left mouse button to walk. Yeah, I, I saw this in the menu. Kind of weird control system, but I believe I'll need WASD to type into the computer. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Oh god, there's some really extreme mouse acceleration going on here. Well, I do want some of the mouse moving, so uh, we'll keep it on. Mostly so the movement doesn't get so uh, barfy for, for the people watching. <laughs> And we're like, okay, we can look at things. Emergency re-entry medical kits. EVA suits, ITS st standard issue old model. Executing chargement identifiant.sh. Uh, please answer a new login. Oh, let's go with XORF. Login input successful. Do you want to keep XORF as your new log login? Yes. Accessing user database. New user XORF created. Implementing event counts. Success. Resuming Kaizen input dot sh. Is Kaizen 85 the person I will, the AI I will be communicating with? Hello. Jason. Um, what is the ship? Okay. Um, is anyone on board? <laughs> okay. Um, that's a bit sad, I guess. And you open the door. See you in the lobby. Okay. It's sort of interesting, like... For some reason, but with natural language, it feels like, okay, I can say anything, so I should just say anything. Uh, but it almost feels like I'm thinking a lot more about what to actually say. Yeah. The ITS Corporation, leader in space transportation and hospitality sector, offers a unique opportunity to become a true pioneer in universe exploration. This fall, we're launching the Nautilus program. So this is from the 80s, eh? Voyage aboard luxurious space yachts and cruisers. Touch the stars without having to sacrifice your comfort. No more compromise, only Nautilus. International Transport Space Lines. Comfort out of your comfort zone. To reserve your seat, visit the ITS Corporation headquarters in Palo Alto, California. Huh. Yeah, it, it departed uh, in 87. No, uh, no arrival time.
Uh, suicide prevention posters, poster. Not too far, never alone. The Robinson syndrome is not the end of the line. Four billion people are waiting for you back on Earth. You are not alone. Well, the computer seems to think I am. Hey, ask me if you need anything. Okay, so this is the lobby. Um, when will we arrive? What are you? Are you a government inspector? Uh, no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually respond to, to lines like that. Um, if it keeps the context of our uh, conversations in uh, intact uh, throughout like several lines. Hmm. Yeah, like I was saying, it, it feels like very tricky to actually come up with what to say because because there are so many uh, possible things to say that could help me. Can we always do this at any distance? Okay, this is a vacuum cleaner then. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, turntable, what are we listening to? Dear Diary by Moody Blues. Can we listen to that? On to... Oh, okay. Well, I guess that makes sense, given that... Uh, I don't think that a computer can control the... What what sort of uh, vinyl disc is on the turntable? That's probably up to me. Yeah, I guess we can't enter here. So can this AI see me? Okay, no, it knows where I am. Um. Open corridor. What was it? D three. Well, I think we're fine. Here we go. Anything you want to say? No. Okay. Well, what's so bad about... Well! Come on! <laughs> I should have probably been a bit quicker about that, shouldn't I? Oh, okay, okay. That was actually intended. You forgot to tell me something really important. What was... What's that? Uh... Yes, please. Okay. Tell me. The singularity drive must be taken care of. If you carry the last one of them, it needs you to go to the bridge console and trigger its overcharge. Then we can go home. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, head to the bridge console. Trigger the Singularity Drive overcharge. Okay. Oh, really? How so? Um, what is dangerous? about the drive. They designed a security system for this gravitation graviton engine. It is incredibly reliable, uh, but any failure would create a black hole. Okay. Uh, this is why the Singularity Drive is unheard of on Earth uh, ever since the Nautilus take off. Is this the only Nautilus vessel? Is 
This is the latest Nautilus by AT ITS Corp. Though I guess they this computer would think so unless it has communications with ITS. No, excuse me. Okay. Why? The vision of ITS from the beginning has been making space belong to everyone. Kaizen is here to help make that happen. Okay, that doesn't really answer my question, but I guess it makes sense. It's not like the the game is going to under know everything that I wanted to, uh, to ask of it. So, um, where is the overdrive? ITS headquarters situation in Palo Alto, <laughs> bear flag that I am told that it is sunny. That's not exactly what I want to know. Um, the control room, was that what, what it was called? Um, well, I am listening. Okay, this was a lot trickier than I thought. Uh, it started out really good with it, like, seemingly understanding everything. But now I'm, like, lost in the conversation. I wonder if there's a way to, like... Okay, we can actually scroll, so... That's good. Um, a bridge console. Uh, I think that is a type of engine. And there's very existence. There's an engine that can take you from... It's dangerous. Um, so... How do I get to the bridge? Um, you take me to the bridge. What? Okay. Open corridor door. Well, I'm trying to listen to what you're saying, but I'm not getting... I'm listening. <laughs> Yes, that's one of them. I need to go to the bridge console and trigger its overcharge. Then we can go home. Um, let's do that. Yes, I understand. Destroying the Singularity Drive will help humankind. That sounds bad. Um. Yay, finally! <laughs> It's, it's hard to remember that I can't move with uh, WASD, really. Um, so they want me to go downstairs, I believe. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. What is happening? Uh, what happened? Okay, so you know about Europa 11. <laughs> okay. Uh, what happened to Europa 11? 
Europe 11 got destroyed from the inside. The reactor, I think. Okay. So... Something happened to the, to the nuclear reactor. That would probably be bad on a spaceship. The box empty. Bridge. Um... What is the passport password? Um, we figure that out. D seven. Or like notes around there somewhere. <laughs> Did someone put a post-it not note with a password around here? Nothing here. What about this? Moved notes to terminal. Uh, Kaizen memory access profiler SH. Uh, yes, confirm. Find I in memory. Memory location. Uh, and a memory address. All right. So, dot uh, HS. Oh, profiler. <laughs> profiler dot HS. Yeah, probably. <laughs> this memory address contains an executable file. Do you want to launch it? Absolutely. What is this? Is this like ski free? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would look like ski free. Power current overriding link access. Letter and numeric field now map to memory slots. Find rest in a match. Um. Okay. Not sure what on earth I'm doing right now. I'm pressing like different buttons, hoping to find the memory. Uh, but I don't actually know if... Okay, okay, okay. No. I get it. I'm supposed to find the full picture. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> E-A-L-N There we go, finally Yes, cannot read a single word of this But guessing this will allow us to open up this place using the retina scanner welcome nandy all right oh this is some cool uh, wallpaper here ah i'm real digging this digging this look in general not sure it feels very 80-ish does it feels almost older than that doesn't it though i'm Terrible with, uh, like, knowing. Remotely controlled door. And dry drops of water detected. Um, is this, like, the bathroom? Yeah, probably. Why would you want the bathroom door to be remotely controlled? That seems like a very bad idea. <laughs> uh, like having to uh, enter a computer command every time you want to go to the bathroom. Paper, song lyrics, handwriting un unintelligible. Whoa, whoa, what's happened there? Paper research, safety mechanisms on AI systems. Paper AI calculations. Why can I scan things like this? Laws of robotics in the real world. I mean, reading things makes sense, but how can I detect dried drops of water? Maybe it's some sort of... Uh, 
uh, enhanced reality thing. Augmented reality rather. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll... Uh, the Final Frontier, 1987. Um, but yeah, I think we'll probably ask ask Kaysen, uh, Kaysen what, what this room is all about in the next episode. Uh, so until then, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on Event Zero. Bye-bye. Oh. What even is that? Is it like a furnace? Of some kind? A bunch of these missing photos for um, Lucas. Okay. And the bird again.